What's going on guys? It is Catch back with another video on the channel and I thought for today's video I'd try something different. Recently it's been a lot of the real life football matches that I've been giving my opinion on but in today's video I thought I would look at something a little more different. So what you see in the background here is a Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2022 gameplay and in this specific mission I will be attempting to complete the mission called Perfection which finds itself in the tier 3 uh section of uh, Black Mouse, which is the third of the three factions in DMZ, the other two being Legion and White Lotus. So really, for what you have to do for this specific mission is to raid a weapon stash uh, and take no body damage, which is actually more difficult than it sounds, because you can't take a single shot from anything, which, you know, that makes the job a lot more harder. So I'll try and take you through what I did versus a couple strategies um, that you can probably do if you're doing this solo or with a team. What I would recommend is probably do this with maybe one or two friends as I did try this solo and figured out there's maybe not a lot you can do about it. The only way I would think you could do it solo is if you clear out the stronghold before you uh, raid the weapon stash and then go hide somewhere before all the AI reinforcements come in because those AI reinforcements are nuts. They are super, super nuts. Like their, their accuracy is just lethal. They just snap onto you and they just start shooting you. Especially those, I call them tier three bots, the heavily armored blue bots. They take forever to kill. Um, but if you hit them in the head, it's generally like a two shot kill with a sniper. But anyway, back to the raid weapon stash uh, contract. What I would suggest as probably a, a good strategy is if you've got two teammates like I had in this video, more or less just let them do all the work once the stronghold has been unlocked. And as you can see, we did get it wrong by not going to the right stronghold. The actual stronghold was over to our left, uh, not the specific stronghold, which we thought it was, um, because I was under the impression that stronghold, the stronghold would be the closest one to the actual contract, but alas, it was not supposed to be. But in the end, uh, the building we actually went to was probably easier and uh, a bit more it had more hiding spots, I guess you could say, than the one we thought it was at the start. But yeah, it's quite a difficult sort of mission to do. I'm not sure the actual parameters of when you can take body damage versus when you can't. I'm thinking that you can only take body damage when you actually try and open the actual weapon stash itself. So you can take any body damage before that. So clearing the stronghold, take as much damage as you like. That will probably, that won't count to the actual damage of the mission. So just take out all the bots, take as much damage as you want. The other thing I'm not sure about is whether the body armor counts as body damage. So you could probably take a bit of arm, uh, damage to your body armor and it'd probably still be all right but you just can't take any damage on your actual health points. Um, and the irritating part about clearing strongholds is those riot shield guys. They seem to have bulletproof lasers uh, with their pistols and they're practically annoying to kill unless you have a Semtex. So what me and the, the two guys I played with in this game was, and these two were just random villains who were you know, pretty good about it. They wanted to, you know, do a few missions anyway. So what we did was like, all right, well, let's do this one first. And so we pretty much cleared out this entire stronghold. And another tip I would suggest is try not to open any of the deadbolt doors. Try and, try and open maybe one as your sort of entry point and that's it. Because if you're, what people don't actually know is if you unlock a deadbolt door, the AI can actually get into that building, which gives them more points of entry to attack you from. So try and limit it to maybe one or two points of entry so that those AI can't laser kill you straight away. So what I did is I also had some claymores as well. I put them at points of entry I, I could probably defend and easily take. Um, and then, yeah, once I had my claymores in position, I went to the weapon stash and then pretty much started the mission. And now this is where you can't take body damage for. So find a, a corner or a somewhere on the map to hide and then just wait for the weapon stash to come unopened. Now this is where the, the, the game will spawn in a lot of AI. As you'll see on the little mini map, there's one helicopter coming in. I think there was actually maybe two or three helicopters that came in from memory. Um, as you know, there you go, there's another one coming in right there. But yeah, pretty much all I did from this point was stick right in this little corner 
And from what I remember, about two two people I, were play, I was playing with, they more or less took out all the enemies. I was just telling them, I'll watch this door to the right and see if any bots come through that way. I knew there wasn't going to be any because they they spawned at the bottom and we were on the second level. Um, so more or less was just trying to watch you know, what was coming. And the AI will smoke uh, a lot of this section. Um, persistently because once you clear out the first lot of bots and the second lot of bots will come in and they'll smoke again so it is a bit difficult to see but just keep to your corners and just you know sort of watch one alleyway i guess you could say and if anyone does sort of come up there maybe try and shoot them as quickly as you can without them turning around and shooting you i know that sounds a little bit difficult but you know just try your best so that was pretty much the strategy i used to run for this one and then i tried it with a mate about half an hour later and that time i was doing all the killing in the stash while he hid in the river um and it, it does work so you know just try and hide somewhere if you are really struggling with it and let your mates do it if they've already done it um but yeah that's pretty much the that's how this um video worked i was just trying to explain how to do these uh a DMZ faction missions they are a little bit trickier the higher tiers you go I'm not looking forward to the tier 4 or tier 5 ones but please do let me know if you would like to see any videos on any other uh, faction missions moving forward and uh, please do like share and subscribe if you want to see more DMZ content I thought I'd do this as a, a change of heart but there you go as you see the stash is unlocked and it'll pop up any second now and there it is have a great day guys I'll see you on another video very soon see ya bye